Now, this one is more about where do I as a teacher find compelling questions? That's a little bit trickier. Um, and what I would say is that when we are developing units, we want a really great compelling question that drives the unit, but the, it, it's going to take a while before we have all of those units fully developed. So this year, like these two days, our focus is finding one unit that we can really develop using this process. And if by the end of the year, that's how many units you have, you have one that's really like living within this process and it has a compelling question that drives it, that's okay. And then you're going to try and build on that. You may develop a compelling question and run the unit and realize that your compelling question was not that compelling to students. And next year you're going to rewrite it. So it's an ongoing process. There are, of course, model units that exist that have compelling questions. Um, and a lot of times, especially in social studies, some of those compelling questions are the questions that sort of live in the zeitgeist, I guess is the best way I can think of it. Like the, the questions that people who are not required to talk about subjects because they're in a class about it, but when they talk about that subject, these are the questions they wrestle with. Those are usually the most compelling questions. So if you think about government or economics, you know, in economics, a question like, um, you know, what's the relationship between supply and demand? Once people are done with high school, most of them will never engage with that question again, not in any rigorous way. But if they ask a question like, uh, how does increasing wages affect my ability to buy more stuff? That's something that everybody is interested in at some level, right? So that becomes a compelling question, and then you can use that to talk about supply and demand and get them to where you want them to be. So I would say, like, don't, don't overthink it. I mean, there are, I know that, like, TCI, for example, Many textbook companies, because compelling questions has become kind of a driving ideology in, in the last few years, I know that TCI textbooks, every chapter has a compelling question that goes with it. I don't necessarily think that all of those compelling questions are all that compelling, but a lot of times it's got the root of a good idea and I can modify the language for my students. But once again, I think that the key on all of these is remember that this is a long process. Nobody expects everyone to have mastered all of their units or in just breathtaking, compelling questions by December. Uh, you just continue to build on it each year and modify it as you go. Maybe pick a new unit each semester or each school year and say, this year, I want to make this one about a compelling... Instead of saying that this unit is the Civil War, this year, this unit is... Did the Civil War really help African Americans in achieving freedom? Something like that, right? And then we're going to base it around that question instead of around a topic.